Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that's giving you full games of uh, 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 gameplay. Uh, once again, to be rolling with the Dallas Cowboys. Guys, if you're new to my uh, channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also this notification icon so you can never miss an upload. Going to be rolling with the Dallas Cowboys, gun doubles offset, single back doubles, uh, pistol doubles, uh, gun doubles Y off flex. Going to be going against Green Bay Packers, and also the gun doubles flex week, probably down in the red zone. On defense, I'll be using the uh, uh, big nickel over G <coughs> as my base. Uh, defense. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a couple stops against uh, Wells Bro, 32-32. Uh, Kicking off, getting the ball in the second half. That's the way we like it. Uh, it's always better to get that ball in the second half. Uh, he's going to have a really good high-powered offense. He's going to have, um, uh, obviously, uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron Rodgers making plays for him. So uh, that's going to help him out dramatically. So let's go ahead and jump into the big nickel. All right, we're going to come out of... And where is the play I'm looking for? And not get this set up. So nice gash run right there. And he does not know huddle, so thank God. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna just jump in the cover four palms and come out of the pinch blitz here. Go, hey, let's go, come on. Over, 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 over. There you go. So we're gonna shoot the gap right there. And he doesn't know a huddle. We're gonna we're gonna throw some pressure his way. I'm gonna go into the cover six trap is uh, is my base audible. Very good patience. Get off. I had very good patience on that play. Um, I didn't get the blitz set up correctly, and I'm gonna have to switch up uh, my defense with the shallow cross. field was wide open. He had the seam wide open. He totally missed that read. So my camera view got messed up here. We're gonna do a cover three blitz against them. Good read. Uh, angle right now is messing me up with my view. Uh, so very patient. I was trying to go ahead and sudden blitz, and um, I was concentrating on this angle of, of my uh, camera view, which I don't know why it got reset. There you go. Sting uh, a pinch right there. Good animation. That should have been a touchdown. You made a really good throw there. That was a really good throw. Play the sticks here. Let's 
see if this guy does not go for it. So he showed me dagger a couple times. He should take his points. Defender just pulled out of the way. Uh, he was there, and he didn't do anything. He just sat there and then moved out of the way and allowed this guy to get some a good anim animation in the background. I didn't come after him. He actually, I think he highballed past me right there, and that's why the defender moved out of the way. Uh, but fourth down situation, I had a chance to actually go ahead and get the ball down to the red zone uh, and get it back uh, and just blew that opportunity. I like doing a little zone coverages down there, and this guy never panics. So this guy's definitely a good player. Uh, as far as if his his abilities, because he, he didn't panic at all. I uh, settled down, he would wait for plays to develop, and I haven't been able to go ahead and effectively hit him with any kind of pressure. So we're gonna jump into uh, doubles. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a couple of different adjustments than what I've normally been doing. Okay, smash. Go to pistol. to be able to go and uh, see a nice hole like that. Uh, he went in a man double buzz. But you don't see a lot of people do man double buzz on a, on a, on a first play. So I don't know how well this guy is. as far as the player is concerned when it comes to uh, basically coming out in the hole. Yeah, I just It's just a very unusual defense to, to come out of the hole with, to a double buzz defense like that. <coughs> All right, so let's go ahead and set this uh, offense up. Going to go in angle smash. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the shark wheel and come out of the pistol. <coughs> draw so five minutes left <clears throat> I just need to go ahead and move the ball down the field against this guy show me cover three and there was a flag right there roughing the passer oh my god what a freaking break I got on that. That was that was a that was a BS call. I didn't even have any reads. Uh, he came in on that manual blitz and then I had the double buzz right there, so I've got a slug of this guy. That's not a play I usually use in a scheme, but he just keeps he just keeps staying with this man pressure. So I had to go ahead and expose him up top with that. Get back on defense again. I uh, got him down in the fourth down situation, down in the goal line. He actually went for it instead of taking his points. This guy's fairly reckless, but that's demoralizing to give up uh, a touchdown after three plays, especially in a huge play like that. Uh, that's not really good for him. He did get a, he get, he did get a manual blitz <clears throat> with this man blitz that he's been using. 
um, and I was able to go ahead and get himself uh, something. So four minutes and two seconds left back on defense. I'm going to go ahead and stay with this big nickel. I got every, uh, my place pretty much set up. So, I, you know, when I'm struggling against this type of a defensive set, Pressure right there, got him. They're coming, they're coming. All right. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Good, nice high belt hub pass lead. I couldn't get out there in time. And went back to dagger. And I didn't get this defense set up correctly. So that's the problem. Should have been safety blitz too, and that's why it wasn't set up. There you go. So nice little pressure off the edge. He went into play action. I probably would have got a better blitz if I actually set it up. He just quick hiked me. So just high ball passing me right there. He's been struggling with the man blitz, so that's why I actually hit him with it. He just keeps attacking me with high balls. The entire pass, I should have had a safety in the area. There was a hook zone in that area, and why he didn't fall, you know what? I think I did I did the sticks, and it actually came down to the goal line, so I made a mistake right there. That was actually my fault. I should have never done sticks. Uh, that's why his the back of that field was wide open for him. All right, so a minute and 56 seconds left. Um, plenty of time for me to move the ball down the field, me getting the ball in the second half. Field goal is a win, too, in this type of situation, but I'm having a hard time bottling up this guy's offense. His reads are really good. He makes really good reads to the seams underneath, and he's highballing all of his passes, so it's like I really can't even defend him on the way he's throwing his balls, but he's, he makes really fast decisions, and that's you got to respect someone who can get rid of the ball quick and, and not allow you to go ahead and, and do that. And even a couple a couple times that actually I, I played out outright coverage, um, he basically was just settled in and just waited for his for his receiver to break open. So I got to hand it hand it to this guy. He's, he's got a pretty good scheme, man. So we're gonna come out of the the. Um, Gun play right here. We're gonna switch into the pump draw. He's showing me off coverage. I'm assuming he's gonna get out of this man coverage. Maybe not. I'm gonna take a peek at what he did. He's doing his man coverage again. So Hearn should be wide open if he does this again. There 
There you go. So, easy completion. Staying with this coverage. <sighs> Just waiting for this guy to change, but I don't know if he's going to. Alright, so I'm on field goal range right now, but here's the thing. Typically, what I like to do in this type of situation, I've got a couple plays I'd run against somebody, but that's usually against zone um, uh, pressure or zone type coverages, so I don't know what I'm going to do. time let's see okay now he goes into coverage and this is where I can actually go ahead and pop him right over the middle with verticals swamp should be wide open I didn't get the animation Right pass. Completely right plat pass. Do shell across here. Do the same look. I took a timeout. So there you go. Down to the four yard line, able to get some pretty good yards right there. We're going to go into set this guy's, these guys up. Stay in. He didn't stay in. <clears throat> he wanted to cover two. Right, so we need to do, uh, let's see, your flank a corner. Let's see if he hits me to cover two again. There you go. So there's my touchdown right there. Holding on to that play, I've been labbing that, and it got the animation I was looking for against this guy's coverage. So 10 seconds left. Not a lot of time for him to do anything on offense. He's probably got some cover four beaters. We're just going to go into man coverage and hope we don't give up a huge play to get him into uh, the red zone. So I'm trying to, I, I let up a little bit on the kick. I want to try to keep this in bounds, force him to use some of that clock. And six seconds left is really not going to give him a lot of time. So we're going to go into quarters and we're just going to play uh, th uh, three high deep. down to the half so that works for us good offense got the ball down in the middle of the field they had a couple plays to go ahead and punch it in 
and it worked out for me. So we're going to be getting the ball right here. So Austin's got it. Oof, almost got a hole right there. Come back. Let's go into pistol again. So I like this pump draw. Just I think it's it's really good against someone who does a lot of zone coverage. And this guy's doing a lot of man stuff. I think he came off with the edge pressure off the edge so he wanted the pitch zone uh, box so now we can go ahead he's 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 going into an uh, area that I want now as far as going into zone my whole offense is built on beating zone coverages so you came with an aggressive blitz right there guys got a really good offense uh, he worked worked his offense really well Pressure comes in. He actually user sacked me, I think, uh, with a pinch blitz, and that's going to work out for him. So this guy's got um, a fairly generic defensive scheme, and a lot of it is actually him usering stuff over uh, against me. So hopefully I can go ahead and hit Burns or actually Cooper over the middle. I think this guy is is going to. There you go. So, manual blitz again. Another huge play right there. I'll take it. One of the sting blitz. So, <clears throat> another opportunity there to go up by another score. Now he's chasing me. And if I get a stop against this guy, I'm going to be feeling pretty damn good. Pressure came off uh, with my linebackers right there. He didn't have that was just a bad play call by him. And more pressure right there. Defensive back played it right there. Um, he's in a fourth and 28 type of situation. And he's going to go for it. Come on! I was right there! Oh my freaking lord, it was right there! I was completely right there! 
oh god that's so that is so painful i had to i had to send the pressure i couldn't give this guy any kind of a chance oh man you don't realize how pissed off i am right now Wow, what a lucky break. Pressure was coming beating down against him. He was able to go and get another break. That was unbelievable that he was able to get a break like that. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. I, I, I mean, how many fourth downs am I going to possibly blow? See the reads, this guy, his, his reads on offense are great, his defense is atrocious. Terrible. Wow, see, this guy's offense is really, really good, but his, his defense is just atrocious. He makes, he's just shredding me um, on offense. Just. conversion so I had an opportunity to go up on this guy by two scores I had him down fourth and 28 he hit me in the seam and now he's gonna actually have an opportunity uh, to get the ball into the red zone all right so you know what I thought I thought B already scored against me I'm just so frustrated I'm frustrated to be in a fourth and long type of situation I sent the pressure and my guy was supposed to be there in the seam and he never made a play and he was able to go ahead and eyeball catch the ball over me so that is very, very frustrating. Come on. Oh, my. I had a, almost had a return right there. Oh, God. That was, that was frustrating. All right. All right. So he's using a lot of aggressive blitzes. I don't know if this guy is going to jump into. He hasn't shown me that he's willing to not get away from aggressive blitzes. All right. So let's, let's snap that ball. See what your coverage was. What did what did you use? So you went back to this pinch. Got me with a manual blitz right there. He's gonna stay with it. He's, he's gonna stay with that blitz. This guy doesn't learn his lesson. So going into the third quarter, down, or actually score tied. down with it oh my god I got an unbelievable animation right there that was a total bailout animation I should have never got that never got that let's see if he shows me that, that uh, sting bit pinch look again he's showing it to me That clock rolling against them.
so you don't want to cover one robber. So this guy's he's mixing up his coverages. He's not playing a lot of the, the basic coverages that, that a lot of players will play online. Right in the red zone right there. Got bailed out on, on um, a huge play like um, that, but I'll go ahead and take another score here and put the pressure on, on him because I've got him in some pretty good situations so far offensively or defensively uh, to uh, put him in a situation where he had to make a huge monster play in fourth and long. But his defense is not good at all. I, even though he's mixing up his defenses, it's not like he's he's doing he's doing everything is fairly generic coverages. All right, so got the ball down in the 22. He has plenty of time. I'm gonna stay in this nickel defense. Pressure didn't. It did a little rollout, and this these this uh, boots are just not going to work against this defense. Skinny post. What what is what's going on with this guy's offense? down situation right there. He, he played a perfect route. He's been beating me in the seams. Um, I really don't have any answer for this guy's offense on these third and fourth down reads. Pressure came off. I was sliding across the formation. And his clock management is piss poor right now. What the hell? was that what was that there was two guys in the area he actually caught the this guy is getting so many breaks right now with the CPU it's unbelievable unbelievable right now I couldn't get my defense set up correctly uh, the guys were all completely out of place, and that's actually was causing a problem. I don't. 
I gotta have to switch up my defense against this guy. He's he's just shredding me apart. That's fine. Yeah. What is going on with this team? Why does it keep on getting breaks like this? This is unbelievable. Terrible clock management. Zoom, zoom. And he takes a timeout right here. He's got to go for it. God damn it. Yes! I got a break. I finally got a break. This guy was highballing catches left and right against me, and I finally got a break. My lord, how many balls he actually highballed and catched against my guys. Uh, that was that was wonderful. Completely wonderful. How this guy's his offense was just getting away with murder on all these fourth down situations beyond me. I was getting some pressure. It was like he played stupid in first and second down. The third down, he kept converting.